Now, to talk about this is Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, Democratic representative from Illinois. It's good to see you, Congressman. So I want to start with that basic Same question here, of need because there's disagreement on it in Congress. On one side, there's a group that says, let's get this done. Let's get it done quickly. Just look at the jobless numbers. On the other side, you hear, let's wait a few weeks. Let's see where we are, see what the impact of the first three packages are. Where do you stand on that? Well, I think this is no time for partisanship. I think we have to get something done right away. Um, I think that uh, you know, Mitch McConnell just a few weeks ago unfortunately began with a very partisan proposal, but after taking input from a lot of different uh, corners of Congress, we came up with a very good bipartisan bill, the CARES Act, which uh, basically passed unanimously. And this time around, we have to do the same thing, but we have to get to the end result quicker. And that means taking input from Democrats and Republicans and putting together a package. I think we have to shore up the PPP program for small businesses, which is going to be running out of money. But at the same time, we got to help hospitals. Uh, they are going, uh, a lot of them are going bankrupt because of the current situation. And we have to help state governments uh, as they hemorrhage money dealing with the pandemic and at the same time see their uh, revenues uh, dry up uh, because of a lack of economic activity. So on the one hand, we don't want to be helping small businesses. And then on the other hand, um, have states potentially um, threaten tax hikes or service cuts because of their gaping budget holes. So it has to be comprehensive. So let me ask you about small businesses, because the Senate Majority Leader, Mitch McConnell, who you just mentioned, vowed just yesterday to refuse Democratic demands uh, in the GOP's push for more aid to small businesses. And he put it this way, uh, Republicans reject Democrats' reckless threat. Does that indicate, should it indicate to the American people that even if this needs to get done sooner rather than later, there's a standoff here that could really delay things? Yeah, we got to get past this politics. I was, a, I was a small business person before I came to Congress, and I thought in the last uh, economic crisis a decade ago, small business people were neglected, and that's why we came up with this PPP program, and my office um, helped to shape it. Now we have to come together, put more money into that PPP program for sure, but we also have to do those other things to make sure we end the pandemic. This economic crisis is not going to end until we end the pandemic. So like refusing to help hospitals that don't have enough personal protective equipment or other materials to deal with the pandemic doesn't make sense. And um, similarly, not helping states or local authorities who are on the front lines doesn't make sense either. Let's get it all done together and let's do it ASAP. So there's an argument that Democrats actually have leverage here, Congressman. The president doesn't want to run for re-election in the middle of uh, a full-fledged depression, and legislation could arguably help avoid that. Do you, first of all, believe you have leverage? And if you do, how do you use it? Well, uh, the fact that we basically need unanimous consent to get something passed through Congress means that everybody needs to be at the table, Chris. And I think that's something that Majority Leader McConnell needs to realize sooner rather than later, um, because at the end of the day, the American people just don't want the partisan finger pointing from Mitch McConnell or anyone else. They just want a solution. Um, you know, my wife just finished a 12 hour shift at her hospital last night and um, the cases are streaming in. And we have to deal with them and we have to make sure that we end the pandemic and then we can reopen the economy. Well, Congressman, thanks to your wife, first of all, and thanks to you, Raja Krishnamurthy, for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Chris.